Hey, how's it going, guys? Hope we're all having a good night tonight. Hey, I don't know if you guys uh, notice, but it's a new camera. Yay! Very excited. Uh, we got a new camera today on stream. Uh, looking up here, this is where the new camera is. Uh, it's just it's just actually um, a GoPro compared to the previous webcam I am, which is a little bit a little bit crappy. But we got a nice little Cam Link GoPro setup going, so that should uh, that should look a, a lot better, I think. Um, might have to adjust colors a little bit, but we're testing it out today, just seeing how we're going. Um, and we're gonna play some uh, Pokemon Snaps today. Here, let's pot you down a little bit. Well, those of you joining, I hope you're all having a great night tonight. Um, fine Tuesday evening um, in the in the uh, new greater New York City area. It's a very beautiful night tonight. Uh, I hope it's nice, wonderful weather day wherever you are, and uh, that you got some time outside enjoying it. And uh, you know, if you're here just chilling, doing some Pokemon snaps, let's uh, let's load up gameplay. There we go. We'll switch over to this audio. Sarah's ready for snaps. Yeah, I got all the cutie flies there. Doo, 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 doo. Oh, are you ready too, Randy? Oh, I got big news for you guys. I mean, it's not super big news. Hold on. There we go. Audio is up. Uh, so we, we have all new courses, which we haven't done before today, uh, which is very exciting. Uh, all of these courses that we have for research. I did a little grinding, but I got some shots and stuff. So we like haven't done um, the uh, actually no. We we do have to do the the reef one, but okay, never mind. We have to do the undersea one too. We have to do the the, the core, new course uh, up here in the forest. Uh, and then I forgot. I actually have to do one more thing in the sea, and then we'll get a, a new course there. So big announcement, but also a small announcement. <laughs> I totally misjudged that. This is my account, right? Yes. Not Sarah's. Yeah, this is me. Oh, I do have big news, guys. I actually do have big news. Uh, I don't know if you if you guys were here last time. Uh, you'll you'll know. But on the internet, on the internet, we uploaded uh this picture. It's called when someone. No, this is, this is me. This is me. No, you yeah you didn't log out, but I logged out and it's fine, Sarah. You're good. You're good. Um, this picture, when someone calls you trash, it got 70 likes. We're super popular. Um, as you can see, it's a Garbo crying after someone called, after the EV called him trash and is looking away. This is the brilliant, uh, thing we were able to come up with last time. And apparently it did really well because it must have appealed to all the little kids who call each other garbage in Fortnite. Um, that's my guess. Uh, but, so... That's that's now our most popular photo. It's it's incredible. Can you believe it? Look at all the thought and detail that went into this. Look at the rain. Look at that that nice that precariously placed apple. Get the the cauldron back there on the on the left. Can you believe it? I can't. I certainly can't. By the way, how are we doing, Randy? Hope you're having a good night tonight. Thank you for coming out to the stream. Always a pleasure to have you. Red hot energy. What's this? The illuminate energy in this area is particularly strong. I suspect that even the slightest impact could cause an unusual reaction. Ooh, so if we go to the volcano and we go to that that thing, we'll cause a a, a, a thing there if we like throw apples at it. Messing around with OBS stuff. Oh, there's always tons of OBS stuff to mess around with. You using Streamlabs or normal? Also, ooh, I should um, I should I should move the the camera because last time I noticed. It's better to have it up here in the, the top left. And we'll go uh, a little bit smaller there. Yeah, that should be good. So we also, I can say, um, with the new camera, we are now up to 60 frames per second. As opposed to the old camera, we were on, um, uh, how, we were on poop frames per second. Uh, I think it was like 15 or something because it like did auto gain and stuff, which was really bad. But... This should, look, this should look a lot better, I think. So, I think we'll get right into um, doing the research. 
I think we'll start off today. We're gonna get the stuff on the seafloor. We're gonna get that uh, the shining flower, and then we're gonna go straight into the new area up here. Because the shining flower will unlock another new area that we can do. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Unless you'd like to see the new area first, let me know. But I think we'll do this first. Otherwise, are we almost? At, we're almost at level two for this, right? Oh, didn't we? I think I unlocked level three somewhere. Oh, we got level two of this. No, we did that last time. Oh, I'm just, I'm helplessly confused. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, like close out of this. Do the C first. Yes. Okay. Oh, we got level three of the Sands Day. That's right. We haven't had that before. So that's a new course too. Also, oh yeah, down here, Florio. We have a new course here. Yeah. So we got the level three of this, and I'm pretty sure that you can get some cool, um, like the, there's, I keep seeing this picture of like a Pidgeot catching a Magikarp midair, like to eat it, which is ridiculous. That's, that's so cool. I want to see like Pokemon do like nature things, you know? Um, so we'll, uh, we'll do that. We'll check that out too. To the sea. Hey, Christian, how you, doing? you know, it's Christian. It's funny that you mentioned to the sea when you were a, uh, you know, along the ride for, for call of the sea as well. So I, I think. I think we might be catching a trend here. I think we might have some ocean lovers in, in, uh, uh <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, I love the ocean though, personally. I like the ocean. So we're doing C. Thank you for coming out, by the way, Christian. Welcome to the stream. I'm not reading that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, look at the Pelipers. Oh, very peaceful. On oh, one second, though, I'm actually going to turn up volume for me on my end. Tiny bit monitoring is a little bit low. There we go. All right, continue. <laughs> I'll, I'll say it after the level. I'll come back. Unless you want me to pause right now and say it. <laughs> um all right so we have pelipers up there oh is it what's that cray dilly hit him with an apple the apples move so slow under the water he's like a like a fossil pokemon right the cray dilly i think his lily too is another one Look, look at how slow he moves. <laughs> Excuse me, dude. Excuse me. Excuse me, dude. You know, I was joking about how slow you moved. And then and then you did this. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, he's sleeping. Oh, it's focusing on this one. Let's get a good shot here. There we go. Get a little love disc. You guys make some interesting noises. Oh, this is sleeping Finneon. Sounds like a whale. Also, we are moving at an incredibly slow pace. Very close to the seafloor. Magikarp. There he is. Ah! Oh, the the puku puku puku. He just blew him right off. Yo, love disc is literally it's it's a kissy fish. You know, he's he's a. I think he's Gen 3, I believe. Whalemur is also Gen 3. Who turns into Whale Lord, who we had an encounter with previously. Um, scared the, the shit out of me. Let's play some music for Whale, whale Lord. To dance. Look at him, he blew up big. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna like blow at him.
Nope. Okay, that encounter didn't happen. I thought there was going to be some, like, big encounter. Whoa! What are you? It's like a like a claw shrimp. Claw, claw, sir. That's what I'm not too familiar with. I, I think he's newer gen. Always come right out. Whoa! Like, spear fighting? Oh, look at that. That was great. That's one uh, for the album. Oh, you like the Pokemon Snap video? Thank you, Christian. Hey, make sure you give it a like. Because YouTube likes likes when you, you like it, I think. But thank you. I appreciate you, uh, you liking the video. Let me know, um, you know, if, what you thought of it. And Well, I mean, at some point, uh, I'll ask you more in person or whatever what you thought of it. Because I'm trying to, like, figure out what really type of YouTube content I want to be putting out. Like, I, I think that's a good start. Kind of like the Pickle Plays Let's Play type of thing where it's very highly edited. Um, it just, it takes a little, like, more time to do, you know what I mean? I don't see a, a lit up flower, a flower that it wanted. But those, those were a lot of fun to make. Um, I think those are a good way to kind of, like, Both like kind of like I, I I'm I'm trying to like improve editing and stuff too. But also, um, I mean it's kind of like it, it's good to you know kind of grow the channel too. You know what I mean? Not that I'm like I'm trying to like take off or anything, but I, I it's fun having you know people in the you can play games with, hang out with. Um, but also I, I like making content that people enjoy. Like that that's what I try to do for work. So trying to like you know. Bring it into the hobby too. So it's a lot of fun. Thank you, and I appreciate you for watching. Uh you guys in uh always always let me know if like there's something you want to see or anything that like any ideas you might have. Um I, I try not to take anything for granted. I think we should do like the big um <laughs> the big eye. That that's gonna get a good size rating, I think. Tentacruel is a badass name. That's like a name of like... That could be a name of a band. <laughs> or... Or... or uh, um, uh, some... It, 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 it's... T Tentacruel is literally... No, I'm not, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, love Disc. Christian, you like the Love Disc. We'll give you uh, this guy. Amphibious death metal. That's that could be a name of a band to be honest Christian. You might have tentacruel beat with amphibious death metal Uh, What do we need we need a one star so I think one star that'll be good Also for anyone who uh, who isn't familiar um, essentially like you have these different star ratings for Pokemon and You can like Submit so for quillfish. I've submitted a three star before you can see up there in the top left out of those four boxes filled And it shows you what the three star looks like But I haven't submitted a uh, so if I submit a three star, it's gonna compete with that but if I do a one star or uh, Like a two star it's gonna be a totally new photo So like this is gonna get its own points because I've never taken a one star photo of a quillfish before The stars are relative to its behavior and they don't really affect the points that you get so if I wanted more points, I'd submit the one. But if I think I like, this can beat the three, maybe I'll submit it. But honestly, I don't think we have anything that's going to beat it. So I'm just going to go with the one. Oh, hold on, wait. What do you want me to say? Oh, you said, uh, Christian, you said no, su no such thing is too wet for me. There you go. I said it. Hope you're happy. Uh, so this claw guy, this is what I want. Oh, so that, I thought this would be like a behavior that would count for more, but it only got one star. That's actually really good. I like this one. You're welcome. All right, let's do um, amphibious death metal. Is that it? That's not going to beat it, but we'll submit it. We didn't get a glowing crystal blue. I thought we would. 
actually, I think that two star was a new one. I, I, I was mistaken. This C floor, this was new. I've never done this one before. Look at, he's so happy. Oh, that's a great photo. We'll save that even if it doesn't uh, take. All right, I think we're good on that. All right, let's see what we got. Pelipper. You like the pose, nothing else. So this Pelipper shot will go in the trash. Magic card. This one could be... This could do it. There we go. So that's better than the previous one star we had of a Magic card. So we're going to take that and get the points from it instead. So that'll be our new Magic Carp one star picture. Cray Dilly. Beauty shot. I wish I had a more wide angle lens for this scenario, but Pokemon Snap doesn't really give you a big lens selection. If I had to guess, it's probably like a, a you know, 35 millimeter, something like that. But with a slight zoom function that go, goes up to like, you know, like 80, 90, some odd. Guys, I'm flexing my lens knowledge now. I've been I've been studying it up on lenses. Also, exciting news. I, I was debating if I was going to talk about it on the stream at all. But my uh, my new camera came in the mail today, which I'm super stoked about. With uh, my new camera and my new lens. It's uh, Christian. You know, you know camera stuff. I you, I don't know if you know this one. It's a so it's a uh, Sony. Um, that's a good uh, one star. I thought that would actually do better that Wilmer photo. Uh, a Sony uh, A6400. Yeah, I've just been talking to Sarah's ear off that camera. Poor Sarah. Last thing she wants to hear about that is now. Uh, but I got uh, that, and I got a Tamron. Uh, 17 to 70 millimeter lens, which is really nice because it's super well-rounded and it still gets like really good photos uh, and video But the a6400 is a really good video camera. Uh, it's something potentially That yeah, that's it's it's mirrorless. It's really nice. It's one of the best ones you can get for video It has a great autofocus too, which I really like um, Especially for video when you got to shoot all, like all around whatever so I'm gonna use it uh, professionally for video and also I might be able to set it up here where the GoPro is and then get a really nice shot Maybe not not like a all the time thing but it, it'll look really nice when i have it also if i get a little uh little more lighting set up yeah sony alphas there's some they're pretty much like the best apsc you can get if you ask me like fujifilm's got some good stuff too canon's got some okay stuff uh well i mean okay they got good stuff um but uh, so sony's got some of the best uh apsc cameras you're gonna get you mind? not bad hey we're almost level three I think we could get to level three if we went another pass through. Um, and also, we didn't get that flower that he wanted me to get. You got a score of 1,000 points or more in a placement category 50 times. Oh, so let's save photos album. Is there anything we want to save? Oh, we got to save this guy. Save that. Yeah. Oh, Magikarp. Oh, he's so happy. Because I lied. I said there wasn't a new C course, and this wasn't a new C course. Yeah, keep that one. Uh, da, 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 da. Cool. But I'm excited. That's my first uh, camera that I've like actually owned for myself. You know what I mean? I just used my work camera beforehand, but I haven't like held a camera in like over a year or so. I figured it's about time to suck it up and get it. Um, and I can start doing a. I I did like a like a. A photo shoot of the cat earlier, which was a lot of fun. Went around Bay Ridge, took some stuff. Um, but working on shooting, it's a lot of fun. Camp photography is a lot of fun. If you get into it, it's like a rabbit hole. Uh, okay, so let's see. We're going to go with... Oh, so you know what? I think the reef is new, right? Yeah, because I don't think we did level two before. Also, the beach. I don't know if we've done level two there either. So maybe this is all new and I just don't know anything. But we're going to go to the Elsewhere Forest. Oh, it doesn't even give you any information. How wild is that? Um, you want to go Beep Reef? 
Oh, I'll go beef reef. Yeah, Chris, I don't know if you've seen the reef before. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's go let's go let's go beef reef. I think there's some stuff that we can do for the reef even. Maricopia. Wingle loop de loop. Have you ever seen a wingle do a loop de loop while flying? I bet you can get a photo. I can bet I can get a photo of it before you. No, you can't, Phil. Phil really tries in photography, but he's not uh not 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 the best. Returning to sea. Have you ever seen how uh Piyukumuku returns to sea? I haven't seen it happen here on Lentil anyway. And then the sand why uh the way artillery is eyeing the sand over there, something's about to happen. I just know it. Oh, there's um a whatchamacallit in there. There's a, a stunk fish. Bobbing for fruit. When do you think Pelipper uh, when when do you think Pelipper Pelipper come down and fly near the surface of the ocean? Roast reef sandwich. Earlier I saw some executor napping. They look so cute. I was hoping we could see them too. Like to watch the executor while they sleep. Blossom seems to react to the scan function. That might Oh, th this is the dancing Blossom. We got them last time. Um we were here. Sarah, I think you'll, you'll remember that. You know Sharpedo, and I think you've, you, you've probably done that with seeing the Blossom dancing. You know Sharpedo are known as the bullies of the sea, but I wonder if they'll eat fruit. All right, so we're going to force feed some sharks fruit. We're going to take pictures of dancers. We're going to get the loop-de-loop, -loop, get the, the stunky stunk, watch the Pikiuku return to the sea, and the Pelipper's going to bob for the apples, and we're going to creep on some executor. That is the plan. I'm not going to remember all that, but we're going to do what we can. This is the creep brief. Oh, is that a shark offshore? Behind us? Yeah, it is a shark. Okay. Shark. Sharpedo! Ah... Uh. Hey you, Apple, Apple, got him. <laughs> that was a good one. What what the hell are you doing? Eyeing up that wingle. I'm trying to hit him. Weird. Sharpedo's got issues. It's like, just look at the bird. Are you gonna get him? Are you gonna like jump up there and eat him? Oh, Squirtle! <laughs> oh no, he's gonna eat the Squirtle! No! Oh, oh, okay. Scared for no reason. Oh, look at him, he's adorable! Oh, look at him. He's so worried. What are you worried about? What are you worried about, Squirtle? Apples. Oh, Magikarp. Still don't know what's here. Probably have to, like, hit a flower or something. Yeah, like this guy over here. Darky. Wingle. Mantines. Hello. Nope, you're just uh, gonna... Whoa! Here he is! The big one! Ooh. Oh, my controller's vibrating like crazy. Hey, dude. Meep, meep. Oh, there's another one. It's like a party. Hey. <laughs> I hit him. That was pretty good. These are big boys. This is big boy territory. Also, we got uh, we got muscle flexor over there on the beach. Hey, uh, you get the apple, Pelipper? Developer. Get the apple. I thought they would eat the apples. You love the whales?
Yes! 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 Aha! Do it! Oh, he didn't like that. He's got the power belt. Oh, ho, ho. you're having a good time. This, I've, I've only done this reef like once or twice, but this is like the most relaxing, one of the most relaxing ones I think we've had. Like the colors are so vibrant. It's really pretty. Oh look, they got the Piki Piki Omukus. Why do they, why do they got them in their thing? Do they get to eat them? Do you think? Oh! Oh, did you see that? <laughs> he spit them out. I won't even. Oh, Corsola! Corsola's getting chased away by uh, those guys. All right, so I gotta hit another one. All right, that was good. I, we got the Pelipper at least. I don't know if we can get the Piki Piki Umuku. Also, I don't think we did any. Ooh, ooh, Apple. Yes, yes. Oh, that's all my memory. We got the Corsolas. Very nice. Yeah, I didn't I didn't get Wingle with the flip either. It was a solid run, I think, for the first one. Um, every time I've done a first run, I've been like really solidly overwhelmed. Um like I was there. Look at him. This is when he was going for the Squirtle. You remember? Oh, man. I think that's a good one. I like this one. Uh, it's always easier like the second or third time that you do it. He really wanted to eat that Squirtle. Yeah, we didn't get a four star. <laughs> Look at my last Wingle <laughs> with the two star. It's the exact same shot. <laughs> I didn't even know that. I went for the exact same thing. Um, Maybe I'll turn in one of those instead. Like this. Probably best off doing that. It's the exact same thing as the other one. Oh, we got the tasty Squirtle. Oh, we had the, really, the Squirtle who was really worried. Look at him. He's so concerned. What was he concerned about? I guess the whirlpool, right? That that's what that I think when you guys said it. I am not abusing. This is nature. This is nature and work. Alright, let's go with this one. Try that one, too. So we got a two-star whale lord. We got him coming out as a two-star. And we got his eye when I hit him with the apple. Maybe I do abuse Pokemon a little. Maybe, 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 maybe. We didn't have a three star before. Okay, that got a three star there. For the what what was this called? Mer Mer Marini. Marini. Is that is that uh, a chargeable offense now that I admitted it? Oh man. I want the throwing up the Piki Umuku. That's the three star. But, I get something if I do the bobbing for apples. Do you guys, what do you guys think? Do I do the bobbing for apples, or do I just do the three star, because we don't have one yet? We only, we only get to cash in one. Um... You think I can get a better bobbing for apples? Yeah, probably just go with that one, right? This is my grunting. Oh, look at my last one. It was it was also one of those. Oh, I like this. Oh, that's good. Take that. Yeah, submit that. Looks better when they're swooping down. When they can they bob for apples and swoop down? Nice work. 
Not a bad Sharpedo shot. That's gold. 3,700. I like the reef in the background there. That looks really nice. This Wingle could beat this. I think this Wingle could beat it. Yeah, it did. We'll take it. All right, so that was a good thing that we chose that instead of the other one of hitting, hitting him with the apple. Oh, poor Squirtle. Oh, Squirtle. 3,700. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. We take that. Uh, let's see. Mantine. They could like this pose, maybe, in the background. Yeah, the other Pokemon, because the Whaler behind it. But it wasn't enough to pull it over the, the, the other one. Which was just kind of like really close. Only 500 for size. What are you grading size on? He's taking up the entire screen. Maybe, maybe it's like relative to like how much of the actual Pokemon you get in the frame. Yeah, and it's like it's too close. Yeah, he's too, he's too much of a big boy. Like the gold one, we, we got him you know, coming straight out. Perfect timing. Wow, that was a really good score last time. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to beat that. Whoa, we beat it. Because of the background. I guess we got that little, like, thing in on the left. That's a really good one. All right, we have a great one-star mile champ and nothing else. Next, we've got Pelipper. It's a three, uh, three-star photo. Oh, look at that timing. Almost a thousand for Pose. That's as much as you can get for Pose. Also, just for uh, parameters, Pose can go up to a thousand. Size can go up to two thousand. Direction can go up to a thousand. Placement can go up to a thousand. I think other Pokemon in background each go up to five hundred. So, like a perfect photo, I think is like six thousand or something like that. That's just a guess, though. Not bad. Or uh, Marini. Marini the Meanie. Poor Corsola is bullying. Bullying the Corsola. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're almost at level three here. Uh, guys, I think we should retry this one. Because if we get 2,600 more then we get to level three and we'll get another research level and that'll be another new course so i'd say let's stick with the reef since it's fresh in our brains and we're going to take one more crack at it i think beyond our that next course that we're doing i think there's only like two or three more courses after that as well all right oh look at those squirtles i never saw that I never saw that over there. Look at them. They're all just sunbathing. Oh, that's amazing. Hey. Hey, Squirtles. I was too busy paying attention to this Sharpedo. Will I do a loop if I play the music? Nope. Oh, cannonball. Oh, oh, he did a cannonball. Apple. 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 Come on. Hit him. Got him. <laughs> we got him going into a shell. He didn't go into a shell, though, unfortunately. That guy's still worried. Let's see if this Sharpedo eats apples. Eat the apple. Nope, he didn't like it. I don't think you could ever have uh, too many Squirtles, right? I don't think that's possible. Scan. 
There's some, uh, there seems to be something inside the big whirlpool. Oh, look at him fly. All right, all right, all right. You react to the music? Wait, Lord. Oh, are we going the other way? Whoa, we're going around the butt. Get the apple. Oh, I missed it. Whoa. But. Well, but. Here, get, get this one. Hey. Maybe an egg inside. Trying to throw apples at the, at the eggs. So I'm gonna hatch. Hatch. Alright, I give up. I'm not making the noises. He's making the noises. You hear that? Oh, look at him! Oh, good flex. Oh, good flex. Good flex. That was a good flex. All right, so we got the egg swoop in. We got the, the, the thing with the that. Trying to get these wingles to do a loop-de-loop. -loop. I forget how I did that before. I've seen him do it before, though. Oh, they're in, they're in love. Oh, no! Oh, I tried to go right, but I couldn't. I don't think I've gone right a single time I've ever done this map. All right, so I've got a better uh, apple bob. Oh, did he eat his Pookie Muku? Yeah, we're all about the Squirtle Squad. Oh, I think they started dancing when I did that. Their, their name is Marini, so I think it's just like in their name, you know what I mean? So, uh, so are you saying that the the Wingles will do like the loop to loop on their own? Squirtle, we got two stars. So three star when he goes inside his shell. Two star when he jumped. That's a two star. I think we'll do a three star of him going in his shell. I just don't know when we're gonna get that again. So I think we got to stick with that. All right, we'll see. That's actually really good. I really like that one. We'll go back to it. Yeah, we're definitely going to submit this one. So yeah, so maybe I have to just go through and like have a round where I just look at Wingles or something eventually. It's three star with the bellies. Do that one. It's not going to get anything. We can try. It's my previous three star for the Whale Lord. Oh, can I get a better two star? Yeah. We'll submit this one. I think that'll get more points. And. Three star Marini. No, we already got that. Alright, we'll try this one. Crystal Bloom. Nope, nothing. Corsola. See if we can find a better two star. Maybe this one. We have. A, we already have a really good two star though. 
Ha, ah, look at him. Oh, this is tough. I think that's going to be our, our best bet. Is him in this pose. He's got great poses, though. Because he did first the muscle flex. And then he did, like, the relax. And then he did, like, the yeah. I really like the yeah. But I think we just have him centered way better on these. So I think this one's our go-to. Pelipper, we got the bobbing for apples. That's four star. Nice. We're completing Pelipper, that means. So that means we've gotten every single star um, behavior, you know, metal thing for him. Squirtle on the shell gets a good pose score. Good placement. We'll take it. Oh, 2,900. Nice Wangle. Oh, 2,000 for size. But it doesn't quite have enough to compete with the other one because he's not looking at us. The last one got 1,000 for direction because he was looking at us. So we'll keep that. Nice work. Shark bark. Nope. Nah, nothing's competing with this other Mantine photo. I don't think we haven't we we haven't gotten anything really to stick. Oh, there you go. Whale Lord's a lot better. So it's definitely you see how like it has more of his head in the frame. So I think that got a better size score overall. But if we got like the entire Whale Lord somehow from like a wide sh wider shot, then uh, and it still filled up the frame, I think that would get the best score. Okay, I guess this is slightly better. I don't really see what's better or bad. All three of those shots are from the same place there. Nice! We almost got a full pose score! Size is curved linear. So it's like, it's like the, the amount filling the frame. And then, like, it's the entire Pokemon in the shot up here. And then it goes... It goes down... Yeah, it's a booty shot. I this is actually th this was kind of lucky to get that like mid swoop. Really had to time that. Uh, and then and then this is the amount. So it's the amount of Pokemon that's in the frame, and then this is the amount of Pokemon, the size of the Pokemon, and it goes like like that, or does it go like this? It go it goes like this, yeah, like that, and it's got a. I'm I'm just making stuff up. I, I probably don't have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Good pose. Machamp. I don't think this is going to beat that. We hit him real good with the apple on the first shot there. Yeah, it's a rainbow. The rainbow of Pokemon sizes and framing. Yeah, we got level three. Very nice. Level up. Fantastic. Oh, fantastic, Professor. Amazing. Your research on this course is going great. Make sure you're being thorough with other areas, too. So we have a new area here, but we've just done two reefs in a row. So I think we can come back to this one. Thanks. It's time... For the spooky forest. I think it's spooky, right? It looks pretty spooky. Look at that. Ooh. Did you know? Did you know? When you're behind the camera, it's easy to tune everything out. But observing your surroundings carefully is key. Keep your eyes peeled. Ooh. Very spooky. Or is it wondrous? Oh, it's the ghost tree. Shift tree. Our connection seems a little spotty too. Be careful. Oh, it's Phantom, right? It says no, Trevenant. Phantom is a smaller one. Oh, Kecleon! Got him. Kecleon. Chameleon. 
Esper, come here. No, he didn't. Oh, what? Did you see the shift tree just pass over us? There he is. What is that? Oh, is that Esper, like, lifting that up? This is much more wondrous than it is spooky. Dome floats in the air, suspended by an unseen power. So someone's using Psychic on it. It's probably this Esper or someone. Your footsteps come from over there. Man, you can't see shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, look at the little Pancham. Oh, the dragon. Whoa. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, he's like teaching him how to how to be a panda. Look at him. Oh, he's teaching him. Oh, that's adorable. Whoa. Bye -bye. Oh, little Bulbasaur! And the Pancham. Awesome. Oh. Alright, so we got some good panda shots. Oh. Good Bulbasaur. Oh, he is adorable. Yeah, I, I finished off the photos. Sarah, I read that, and I was like, yeah, I know, I should be. And then I looked in the top corner, and they were all gone. <laughs> Unpheasant. Unpheasant is doing an excellent job guarding its nest. Is there still, like, a lot more track, like, course left? No way! And then we're back here. Phantom. Or not, I'm not Phantom. Trevenant. Ghost trees. And I really used up all my photos real quick. Definitely gonna have to run this again. Trevenant. Something's gotta happen when you do the crystal bloom around here. And you hit it with uh actually I could, I could still hit it right oh he likes it sawbuck spring form huh I'll look at the sleep and shift tree How, how, uh, uh, more espers? Oh, look at them. Look at them fly. Little psychic, uh, weirdos. Little cuties. Where's the end of this course? I used up my photos like halfway through. Oh, there's a beware. Beware's Pokemon and Pokedex entry was like it hugs people to death accidentally. I'm pretty sure. Like it crushes people. <gasps> Little Pancham. This is so long. <laughs> I can't even throw, take any photos. I could I could throw things though. Kecleon. So the the thing is how you reveal them. Oh no, Boba! 
Oh, we got a low tad. What tad? He's always one of my favorites. I like Ludicolo and his bongo drums. Low Todd evolves into. It's hard to imagine what these ancient ruins used to look like. I think the Ludicolo that Brock had in the anime had bongo drums, but I don't think they normally do. I think they just dance. Oh, dragon's awake. It's like a floaty dragon. I think he's from the, the Gala region in the new games. Ding. That was that was pretty crazy how fast we ran out. Hello. I've never run out that fast before. Uh in, in relation to how long the course actually is. Revenant. We'll definitely get a better two star. Let's see if we have a good one star. Oh, we actually really didn't get any good Trevenant picks. I'll go with that one. Shift tree. We got a three star there. I might just take the three star because it's going to be really easy to get a one star of him. Three star is going to be a little more difficult. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's the shot. That's the shot right there. Kecleon. Go with that one. Esper. Wow. Good Esper shots. <laughs> Poking out this head. We'll go two star. Drampa. He's looking at us, so we'll get the best direction score for this one. All right, we got three stars for Pancham. He's going to be pretty easy to get three stars with, so we should just choose the one that looks the best. That shift tree was pretty funny, like barking out orders to him. I think this one's going to be our best bet. Yeah, that's going to be good. Professor Mirror. Let's do this. Time to check out these photos. A new discovery. Nice work. All right, Phantom's actually kind of better than I expected. I didn't think that was going to be very high. Shift tree. Next, we got shift tree. A new one for your po photo decks. Great timing. That's also better than I thought it was going to be. That is beautiful. If that's not a perfect shot, I don't know what is. There you go. We take that. Could have been a little bit better, but I guess there's no other Pokemon in it. There's no background, so it's not going to be perfect, but that was really good. Kecleon. This should be a good shot as well. I expect this to be over 4,000. Yeah. Yeah. Some pugs. That's some pugs. Anything over 4,000 is a platinum rating, so that's good. That's kind of what you go for. It's like that's a bronze rating because it didn't make 2,000. If it's over 2,000, it at least gets a silver. If it's over 3,000, it gets a gold. And if it's over 4,000, it gets a platinum. If you can get platinums for like every star for the Pokemon, you're pretty much set. That's what you need. I feel bad for any Pokemon named Unpheasant. It's just it's 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 self-explanatory why it's a bad name. Nice work. Every time you walk in a room, it's like, oh, is it did it just get unpheasant in here? Drampa. Nice Not bad. 2800 eight I'll take it. Sorry if I skipped through that a little fast, but. We're going to get some better photos next go around. Mm -hmm. 
made a pretty good dent into level one. I never have guessed it was your first trip out there. Keep up the good work. I, I might have guessed. Normal collector. Oh, look at that Bidoof. <laughs> summer bamboo. You discovered summer and elsewhere forests. Interesting. Normal collector. Get normal type Pokemon. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say before. All right. We're going to give that a go again, and we're not going to run out of photos, hopefully. Bidoof is Bay. Bidoof is a little bit more than Bay, though. You know what I mean? Good luck. Esper is just chilling up there. There's the shift tree. We're not taking a photo of you. Get some of those, that's good. Look at all those uh, Esper up there. There's actually a lot of them. Oh! Interesting. So it, it, it wears out its effect after a while. Fascinating. That's good. 59 photos left. Get the little deer. Oh, there's the little deer. There's the male and pheasant, or the female and pheasant. And sham. We'll get this shift tree again. Okay. Okay. Keeping an eye out here. That's a good one. Got the bulb over there. Hey, bird. Oh, I did not like that. I can get to do that again. There, that's good. That'll be good, um, like three star or something like that. I know, I wanted to just get it out of the way. I didn't want to bother the mama bird too much. I knew that was going to be something, though. Let's see if we can get him jumping. All right, we got some uh, shift tree jumping action there. I'm pretty sure I used up my photos last time before we even got to this part. So any anything that happens here is just icing on the cake. So let's first we'll shoot over there. Good. Got the Esper, got the Kecleon. Do you like apples, dear? Yeah. 
Interesting. They flew up earlier uh, because I got the I did the scan, so I actually wasn't really able to get a photo of them there. Yo, look, Christian, we're, we are we are stacked on photos right now. Oh, I want to get him like a, a good jump, but we are we are we are stacked. We got so much. We're going to have like 20 left over. Just wait. Pantoms are just like pretend, like, uh, practicing being mad. Yeah. I find beware mildly terrifying. I don't know if that's just me. I don't know if they're supposed to be kind of like these big, cute guys, but... I find them pretty scary. But he went back invisible when I did that. <laughs> Look at that face that he was making. Oh, low tad. Nice. Put that magic carp. Ancient ruins. I think that's it. 16 left over, not bad. Ah, I tried to hit him. Nice work. <laughs> 256 megabytes? That's very specific, Sarah. Oh, sorry, Christian. Christian, very specific, Christian. And then Sarah, I meant to say, Sarah, what um, who who was the sleepy guy that I didn't get the? Hey, Sarah, you can be very specific. To be fair, give yourself some credit. Oh, that's good. I like this one star one. We'll get another two star. Two star Kecleons. I'm tempted to just do this one star. We already have a already have a two star. That you know what? I think yeah, you're right. That is the size that they came in. That's like what I um my first like I, I'm I'm thinking I think it's like a GoPro like no it was it was a micro SD that I had for like a phone or something came in that size. Yeah, some weird reason that must be standard. Oh, that's four star. We got to do that one. All right, we already have a three star. I'm going to do this two star. Saw Buck. Trevenant. We got him yelling at the thing. That was only a two star, though. But it's better than nothing. So we'll do this one. Actually, I kind of like this one. Magikarp's not going to be worth it. And Cham. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. Beware. Let's go with this one. Bulba. That's two star. Ampa. I don't think it's going to be better, but we'll try it. Ancient Ruins. Low Tad. That one. And I think that's it. Very good. Turn him in. All right. Nice work. 
All right, that's a good Esper. We'll take that. Kecleon, that's actually a really good uh, Kecleon. I kind of missed the score. It was 4,433. That's what it was. Dear Link. Oh, just under um, 4,000. Maybe if we got a bit more than a pheasant in the background. This should be pretty good. 5,000? Whoa! We got a request complete with that, too. Five thousand is real good. All right, ship three. A new discovery. What was it, Sawbuck? So Deerling must turn into Sawbuck. Big score. Not that one. The one. The other one. The, the, the. I don't. I don't gotta explain. What? That's it? I like I, I activated that flower. I thought that was gonna be something. Give me something, Trevenant. Pancham looks pretty cute. Pancham goes from being kind of like a, like a cute, like cute, to being kind of a bully, to back to being cute. It's hard to get a read on him. That's not the most beware pick I've ever seen. If you zoom out in the tree, you'll get a better score. I guess because you get more of it in there. I've gotten good scores just from like getting their faces, though. You know what I mean? Pretty cute, Bulbasaur. Looking up. That's better. Okay, we'll take it. Yeah, the whole reaction when he's not facing you might be better. Because like, the direction doesn't even matter at that point. Hey, I I might be the photographer, but I don't know Pokemon Snap scoring, apparently, sometimes. It confounds me. Usually, most of the time, I, it makes sense, though. But sometimes, like with the size rainbow that, that was mentioned earlier, like, I don't, I don't know. Level two, bada boom. Oh. Oh. Professor grunts with excitement. Look at that. You've hit a new stage in your research. Keep an eye out for changes, no matter how small. It's all about, you gotta get in the middle of the arc. The middle of the arc is where you want for the your size of your Pokemons. You know, uh, I think the better question is who doesn't grunt when they're excited? Certainly no one I know. Uh, fighting collector. Bunch of badges. Sarah, you might be the only one that doesn't grunt when they're excited. Because you thought the grunting when the Machamp and me were excited earlier was weird. I don't I don't know um, what plan you're living on, but... People, people was... Uh, Whenever people are excited, they always grunt, as far as I've known. That's <laughs> when I get excited. <laughs> Phil! Hey! Hey! I heard there was another huge energy reading while you were out doing research. Oh, we got another... Uh, I said Alolan last time. Another Illumina Pokemon. There, what do you got against cavemen? Huh? What do you, what do you got against cavemen? There's nothing wrong with cavemen. Cavemen are just doing their thing. Why do you got to bring them into this? Come on, professor. Tell us what happened. Zoom! Zooms into the screen. Yes, I was just about to. Here's the fact. There's a tremendous amount of energy coming from deep within the forest. Oh! <gasps> the forest. It's got to be an Illumina Pokemon. 
and I'm almost certain it's connected to the ruins you saw nearby. Oh, I did, we did see those ruins. I took a picture of them towards the end. Can you go check it out as soon as you're ready? All right. We got another Lumina Pokemon. If you guys haven't seen the Illumina Pokemon before, it's the, the special Pokemon photo shoot that you get uh, when you go towards the end of a level. Or I guess it's like a level you unlock. So we've gotten one with Meganium. We got the one with uh, Volcarona. Uh, looks like we got some uh, new things here. We're crossing. Okay, let's see you're not complete, but I saw Bulbasaur was coasting across the surface of the water like a whoosh. I'm not kidding. Oh, interesting. So you can make Bulbasaur go skid across the water when Beware waves its arms around wildly. That's a warning that it's on guard. If you're out taking photos and you see one start waving, watch out. Yeah, Beware is terrifying. So we're going to go do that Illumina spot. Happy family. Oh, I'll like that. That's a cute photo. This is the, where the internet comes up on, on your feed. On alert. And I'll, I'll give that a like too. There you go. All right, let's get this Illumina Pokemon. So I wonder what this um, guy is going to be. If it's going to be like a spooky guy or if it's going to be like a, a nice guy. Uh, we'll see. So we'll do the Illumina and then we'll uh, we'll do the this. Whoa, look at that map. Look, you like disappear in the fog and you like reappear in different places. How fascinating. So you must start on the left, you go up to the top, and then you go down, and then to the right. But if like to, if you look at a normal map, like, you know, it's continuous. But this spot, for whatever reason, is like that. Alright, Illumina! Let's do this! Where's the rain coming from? Hmm. Oh, I'll mute my thing during that. Like it's right under you. Under you? <gasps> oh, it's a beautiful Milotic. Oh, it's amazing. I love Milotic. He'd be on my Pokemon team. Oh. <gasps> I'm sure you could use an Illumina Orb. It's beautiful. It makes sense. Milotic's like known as like a beauty type of Pokemon. He's just like a, this is like the Hoenn form of Gyarados almost. Where like it's a really ugly looking like carp like Pokemon called Feebas. You know, my crappy uh, little music box isn't working. Oh, I lost him. I bet a Fluckfruit could reach it down there. Fluckfruit? Oh, it sinks right down. I thought that would float. That does not abide by the logic that this has taken previously. What was I saying before? Oh, so yeah, Feebas, like you have to get its beauty level up. By like making having compete in contests, I have to hit him. Oh, I'm struggling here. I'm really trying. Oh, then I gotta hit him with the orb. Whoa. I hit him. He's doing the Illumina effect. Hard to get his whole body in it without uh while still zooming. So you gotta hit him with an apple. And then he comes up to the surface. And hit him with that. Nice. 
There we go. We got the photo shoot. We go, go, go. He goes so fast. He's going around us. Ooh, oh, I splash. Oh, that was a cool photo. This one is definitely a lot more peaceful than the last one with the Volcarona that we did in the volcanoes. Is that it? Is he gone? Now we still got more. Oh, look at these are like the trees with the roots that go underground. How cool. Oh, look at that. How pretty those under there. Where'd he go? He's not even on our radar. He's gone. Oh, yeah, okay. We are done. The Illumina. Not a bad Illumina photo shoot. That's definitely by far been my favorite, though. Uh, Milotic's one of my favorite Pokemon. In addition to, to Shadow, uh, Umbreon back here, of course, and Flygon. All right, so we can only turn in photos of him taken while he has the Illumina effect going on. So that's why it was so important to hit him with the Apple and then hit him with the Orb. Because, see, like, this photo happened when the effect wasn't going on, so we don't get to turn it and it doesn't count. So we just got to pick out the best one. I'm... I know that's not the best photo, but that was a really cool, like, splash photo. That one's 19's not bad. One isn't bad. Uh, I don't think this one, like, him underwater here is going to be that great. That's not bad. This is tough. Let me know if one pops out to you guys. I'm not really seeing something that's like maybe that, maybe 17. It's like it's just kind of a good like portrait, good profile shot of him. And like it doesn't matter if it's one star, or two star, because we'll still get points. And it's just like what you're turning in, you know what I mean? Like I don't know if we're gonna get a better one star than that profile shot that we got here. That's my bet to turn in right now, I think. 19. 19 is good too. The one thing about 19 is that direction matters for this. Like if, if I was just looking unobjectively, I would actually say this is probably a better shot, but it, 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 like if they're facing the camera, you get more points. So like we could still save 19, but I might turn in 17. Also, let's look at the two stars. This one's pretty cool. It's an action shot, but I don't know how many points that's going to get. It's looking away from the camera here. I think we have to turn in 17, but then we'll also save 19. I don't know if any of these other ones are actually worth saving beyond that. So let's turn in 17. Oh, look at this. That was so cool. I'm keeping that photo, actually. I'm going to see if I can. Let's do this. All right, let's see how many we get for this. Good pose, good size, good direction, good placement. 5,200. That's pretty good. That's that's kind of what you can ask for from these Illumina ones. The, they're usually good value, especially because they have good poses. So 
So we, yeah, we're automatically up to level two. And then it takes a lot to get to the next level from there, for whatever reason. All right. Another step forward for our research. I have a Pokemon in the area getting comfortable with you. Pinnacle of Beauty. We registered the Illumina Pokemon Milotech in your photo decks. Dot overlay. Another Photoshop filter for us. By the way, now that we got that Illumina Pokemon info, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away with. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. All right, so let's save some of these photos to our album. From this wonderful photo. So we'll save this one. That was a good one. Uh, I like this one. That one's kind of nice, too. Although this one's actually got some more lines there. That's kind of nice to look at. I'll also, we'll just, we'll just go this one. It looks nice. Um, well, I like this. I just like all of these. This is the one that I wanted. Like, look how cool it is, that splash effect. Like, when else are you going to see that in this game? Like, someone have a picture like that. Let's save this one. Like, it's not going to get any likes, but uh, it's something that we can keep for, for our scrapbook. I don't think I see anything else that I want to keep. Another island, another amazing Illumina Pokemon. Yep. That's right. It's just like the travelogue said. Every part of Lentil is home to its own Illumina Pokemon. The question is, how could Captain Vince have found that out? Oh, good old Captain Vince. We haven't talked about him in a while. He only wrote about meeting two Illumina Pokemon, right? Hmm. Yes. And yet he also wrote that there were four. Four? Hmm. The mysteries just keep piling up. Yep. Indeed. That's what makes this so intriguing. Yeah, we don't we don't know shit about Captain Fence. Um, so these are the original that's Florio Nature Park. Oh, so this is the we have the new Florio Nature Park, which we can do as well. We also have uh level two of the forest. Um so let's let's look at what we can do next. Whoa, Todd! Hi. Hey there, Shutterbugs. Remember how I suggested you try doing a little photography here at camp? Yeah, I did some of that before. Yeah, yeah thanks for the tip. It was cool seeing the camp through fresh eyes. Next. In that case, there's a, here's another idea. Why not try starting from a different spot? That ought to give you uh, another new perspective. Oh. A different spot? Like where? Look. How about right there? That's different enough, isn't it? <laughs> right there, right next to you. <laughs> you can take a different route around the camp. Depending on whether uh, whether you start here or by the lab. Oh, I'll have to give it a try later then. Sounds good. Just choose the icon in the upper left of the research camp menu to start. Being more deeply attuned to everything happening right around you will make you a better photographer. Anyway, have fun and take all the photos you like. I gotta admit, Todd does have a pretty cool look in. Uh, camera. Why don't you take photos right over there? <laughs> you started over here why don't you start this time over there all right let's do it wait i thought this is the same spot i want to i want to start in a different spot did he say i have to do something different It's not how you get to that Geo by taking photos right next to you. <laughs> no, I think it's the only way to Nat Geo. You ever see someone take a photo of a mountain? It's because they were already standing right next to the mountain. <laughs> they lived right there in the camp. 
Uh, return to camp. So what, did he say specifically? He just said, take photos here. <laughs> what if we took bikini bottle? Whoa, now we're different. Is this, is this, is this what he, he was talking about? Oh, so when a lab, no, wait, camp. What? I am so confused. How do we get to over there? Baby Yoda? I don't get it. I like that. I'm so confused as to how we got to that other location before. Alright, well, maybe we just do this. Oh, there's a Bunnelby. So this is, there's something under here, but like we can't get to it. You can hear something sleeping under the floor. Like I've done this before. I haven't been able to get to that. There's a pseudo wudo. Awesome. The apple. Got him. Hey, that's a two star pseudo wudo. I didn't have that before. Yeah, Todd doesn't even know what he's talking about. All right, so we're going to go in the lab here because I'm doing this little route. The Eevee. If you hit the Garbo, you see what he does? He spits out uh, stuff on the Eevee. It's pretty funny. The Dene Audino, how's it going? You like the music, the Dene? No, you don't care? Oh, that was good. There was something like up there before. Oh, there's a garbo under there. There's a garbo under the desk. I'd never seen that before, actually. What do you have to tell me? Sarah. the chocolate ice cream. Well, thanks for telling me. After you did it. Evie. Okay, the bird bath. You got the Pika with the Garbo. And you got the Evie over there doing stuff. Oh, Evie likes to hang out with some of the other guys, I think, but I haven't gotten them to do that before. So maybe we can do something with that. I've gotten all four star cutie fly things over here. So you like you can do that, and then they do a little pose. They're really cute. I'll show I'll show you guys. But you play the music. See? It is a cute little pose. It's adorable. Apple. Oh, long distance. Here in the Pikachu do something. Oh, there's a bloom over there. I never noticed that. Oh, uh, Bunnelby. I don't know how to get... Actually, no, I think I do know how to get the Bunnelby to jump high out of the ground. I get him to go there. Oh, go there. Bunnelby. God damn it. I just don't know how to do anything here. And apparently Todd told me that this was going to be something new. This is the same course, Todd. 
What are you talking about? How'd it go? How'd it go? How do you think? Can I get to the other course? What was that? Come on, Todd. Pick up the slack. Two star, pseudo wudo. Trubbish. Three star, trubbish. Ooh, that's a good one. Eevee. That's not gonna be better, but we'll try it. Uh, Dino, that'll be a better uh, Dino. Dene. I like that one. Cutie Fly, I already got really good ones. Pikachu, no. Starly. That might be better. Funnel B. It's not gonna be better. We actually did get some new stuff there, to be fair. Yeah, we chucked a, an apple at the Sudobudo when he got startled. That was something. That's the first two-star Sudobudo we've had. This EV probably isn't going to be as good as that other one. Nope. And I guess for some reason, I've done that with the Garbo before where he's like gotten the EV, but maybe I just took a picture of the EV instead. So that's another one that we got. This one will be better for the Audino. Yeah, 4,000. Nice. I'll forgive you for eating the ice cream, sir. You're fine. I, I have the, the new uh, banana uh, pudding ice cream from the little cupcake shop anyway that I wanted to try. Seems very interesting. It's based on their banana pudding cupcake or cheesecake or whatever it is. All right, we'll take the new Dedenne picture. That's good. Yeah, you're fine. I didn't, and to be honest, that chocolate ice cream, that was just okay to me. There's just, there's this place next to us called the, the, the Little Cupcake Bake Shop, which, um, it's like originally, apparently it's like the original one in Bay Ridge. And they have like two other ones, but the, the cupcakes there are really good. The cookies are there are really good. It's just good desserts. Of course. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't think there's anything worth saving. So if we return to camp, is it going to be like a new spot in camp? Like before, when I was just hopelessly confused. Okay. Could you take another pass the lentil C4 for me? Seeing fascinating enemies coming. So there's there's definitely something like a flower on the, the lentil sea floor that we could take. All right. So let's try taking photos here. Oh, oh. Adino's out here. Um, oh, uh, Rattata, don't have one of those. Campfire burns quietly. Ha! Mm -hmm. That was good. Oh, he's happy. He likes the music. Oh, no, it's the apple. I take it back. All right, so we got a good uh, Sudowoodo pick now. Starly's going to eat the apple. Okay, that's good enough for that. Pika P. What's going on, dude? That's the Neo one. What's this? There's something in the grass? Oh, there's a Dedenne up here. <laughs> 
Hey, Pika P. That's a good one. Beauty fly. Yes, Jay's for forgiving Sarah. Can we can we go up here? I I guess I tried to, but it wouldn't let me. That garbo is making noises. Wide angle. Oh, uh. Can't, can't you jump high? Give me the apple. Oh! He jumped really high when he went to that one. So maybe, like, cause there's one where you have to jump. You used to get him jumping high. Oh, that was it. Oh, uh, I don't think I got it. Yeah, he, he launched there, uh, but I wasn't quick enough on the trigger. Oh, Dino. Three star. Very nice. <laughs> we'll see if that's any better than the other one. I think that's going to be our best one star Rattata. Sudo Wudo. That's definitely going to be better than our two star. That one. Don't have a two star Starly yet. Facing the wrong way, but that's gonna be that's gonna do. Probish being scared was pretty funny. All right, Pika P. It'll just one star Pikachu's. I like this. We'll do that one. There was one where we got him like landing after he did a big jump. Wasn't there? Unless I'm just making that up in my head. He's jumping pretty high there. I'll just do that one. Oh, he's like six. Oh, sorry, I didn't read that in time. My bad. Let's do this. Is that the one? I, what, which one did I choose? Probably not six, right? Good odd, Dino. Three thousand eight hundred. What camera looks better? Oh, the camera on me. Oh, well, this is the GoPro, right? This is this is the GoPro that looks so much better. Wait, hold on. I I can give you a a little little before and after. This was before. This was after. It's not even comparable. Like this this doesn't look great. This this looks a lot better. Oh, Trubbish. Oh, that was better. Oh, look at that cute little Trubbish. Little Rattata. That's a big ad. Nice work. They didn't like this pose as much, huh? Only slightly better. Fascinating. Nice work. Dun, dun, dun. 
Starly, not bad. That's our first two star Starly. This Dedenne, I think, will be better. Because that other one just looks too far away, no? No? They look the, oh, because it has the Audino in it, so it's got the other Pokemon bonus. I like this Pikachu. Look at that pose. Look at that size. 4,400 Pikachu. We take those. Oh, he's sneaky. He looks like he's up to no good. He's up to no good, that Pikachu. Cutie little Pikachu's up to no good. Bubble Bee! Not quite. And we didn't get the... The jumping. Oh, good question. Christian, what is your favorite Pokemon? If you had to pick. You know, even if you don't have one. Seeing you at work reminds me of Todd in the old days. Keep it up. Because everyone wants to be just like Todd. Camera hobbyist. Snapped a total of 3,000 photos. Has it been that many? Jeez. That is giving us a lot of credit to be better than Todd. You mind me. Um, okay. So, next, I think what we should do is... Oh, wait, let me just fix this. Yeah, okay. Tro you like Garbo? You like Trubbish? At least he's... I, I like Trubbish. He's cuter than Garbodwar. I don't like... Or whatever his name is. Garbodor. I don't like him. Just the giant pile of trash. Say hello to your neighbors. A Starly came and greeted me the other day. I wonder if that meant, means he wants to be my friend. Huh. All right. What I think we're going to do is I am actually going to go AFK for about one minute and 30 seconds or so. And we will be uh, right back. So I'll load us up, throw in some tunes, and we will be back in a second, guys. And we'll probably do maybe Seafloor or something like that. Good old Garbo. All right. Be right back.
All right, all right, we are back. Hello, hello. Okay, now to get right into it, I think the first thing we should do, um, since we're back, since we have a couple options, take some more photos. I hope you get some good shots. Cool. I, I think that our first option is probably do the Florio on level four or whatever is level three, whatever the, the new level is for that. And then maybe we do beach. Maybe we go look at that lentil floor one more time. There's also some stuff that we definitely missed at the volcano um, that we could get level three with. But let's do the new level in the original spot. Yeah, so we, we maxed out um, this one. So that one's done. But we still have a ton of stuff in Park Day because we have the new level that we just unlocked. Uh, level three. So we'll hit this one up first. And maybe uh, if we, we can try to get that Pidgeot, like Cash in the Magic Carp. Like here, I'll show you the, the things that we can do. Uh, not completed. The professor told me that the Pokemon around the cat sometimes come together to dance. I'd love to see that. Oh, the Garbo, you can make the Garbodor and the Rattata dance. How funny is that? So if, if, if we ever, if we do that again. Milotic's Mighty Leap, check this out. Awesome, huh? I bet. But I bet you Myotech can do it even cooler leap. Come on, try to get a photo of it for me. All right, so there's more stuff that can happen in both Silv. I thought... No, I meant to choose just Florio. That was both Sylvia. So stuff that we can get. I saw Score Bunny laughing out loud earlier. It was so cute. You guys see for yourself. So Score Bunny laughing. I heard there's a Pokemon playing a little game of hide and seek in the flower field. So there's a Pokemon playing hide and seek in the flowers. Buffalant started fighting. So the Wormpool are gonna try to get the Tailo. Ducklet can fly. Uh, Grookey does something that'll make you laugh. Something startled the Tailo. I saw a Pidgeot swoop down and snatch a Magikarp. That's it. I was I was so surprised I couldn't get a photo in time. All right, so those are the ones that we got to go for. Um, still have some nighttime ones, but we didn't got to get those. Comfy always run away from me. I wonder how I can get them to be my friends. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm I'm just keeping kind of those in the, you know, circulating in my brain somewhere. Um, I didn't memorize them very well, but we'll try. But also, we're going to be getting new guys on this trip and new uh, behaviors from different Pokemon. Oh, Pichu and Grookey are right there, the two friends. Oh, Pichu and Grookey, come here. Let me take your picture. Hello. <laughs> oh, and Grookey's doing the thing. Oh, those two are my favorite. I love them. They're such good buddies. All right, Buffalant are fighting. Badoof! Oh, Christian, here's your Badoof. Look at him, he's like bowing. I like hit him one of them with an apple Will they start fighting. No, he's gonna be eat the apple. I already have that. Oh, hello! Fight! Fight! Rip each other's afros! Bah! Ophelot in the wild! There we go, that was pretty good. Alright, we're, we've already got the Emolga. That was pretty cool. Wormpole. Got some good Wormpole shots. Oh, never across. Oh, I knocked him down. Oh, fight me. I love Heracross too. He would also be on my Pokemon team.
Come on, uh. Lie, duckling. Pichu! Oh, I'm running low on the memory. Oh my god. I wonder how you do that Pidgey out with the Magikarp. Where was that, uh... Yeah, we already have Tangle Growth. We haven't had a good shot of Poopy sleeping like that. I like hit him with a Pidgeot, come get him. I don't even see a Pidgeot flying around. Oh, what happened here? This is where Taylor was flying away. No. Alright, well we missed that, whatever that was. Oh, it's like a party over here now. Oh, we got Score Bunny and Grookey over here now. She was doing the nature power. Uh, we got the Bufalant in the meadow. Where are those flowers here? I forget where the other flowers are. Yeah, I'm too used to just taking pictures willy-nilly. You're right, Sarah. Do what I did yesterday with the Illumina. What did I do yesterday? I think I was still a J, yeah. We got a Heracross. I love Heracross. Oh, look at him. Oh, it's only one star, though. Oh, but that's great. Look at that pose. We got a mid leap. Maybe that'll be worth something. Restart with that worm pull. I like this one, I think. That's a good pose. Arrow cross. Oh, three, because I got him to fall out of the tree. I think I can get a better three shot of him. I think this is a really good uh, two shot here. He's looking right at us. It will get a, a hundred for him looking at us. Or a thousand, I mean. All right, that's a good comfy shot. Let's use this. A Molga, we'll try this one. Score Bunny. That's definitely the best one star that we've gotten. Oh, four star Bufalot. Oh, this is tough. Oh, which to pick? It's like, he, like the action, you know, it's like, oh, he's charging, oh, he's charging. And then they... Bonk. That's pretty good. That's better. That's better. That's pretty good with them in the air. We might get some extra pose points for that. I think I'd go this one in the air. Oh, look at them bowing. This is, they're not going to beat the other ones we have. Look at those two cute Bidoofs that we have over there on the left. That was 5,000 for those two Bidoofs next to each other, which is crazy. Oh, look at him with this thing. It's, we're not gonna, it's not gonna beat the other one, but we'll submit it just in case, but. All right, that's good. I, I really think it is the best Bidoof shot. I, I've thought about posting, and I probably should. Perfect timing. 
Wow, they like the new Pichu, huh? Way to go. Way to go, little guy. Nice work. Grookey, good direction. That's about it. Didn't like the pose so much, huh? Request complete, though, about the boot block. That's a photo for each star level. Buffalon's page is complete. Score bunny. Yeah, that's a J. That's a J too. There we go. Yeah, you see, he like kicks the fire. Um, previously, what I did is I had to hit him with the Illumina Orb, and his fire turned blue, which was a really cool effect that happened. And that's how you get the four star uh, version of um, Score Bunny. But you see, it's the same pose where he was, like, kicking out fire. Amolga. It's probably going to be slightly worse, yeah. Because it, it likes the centering of the other one better. Mm, great timing. Go, Wurmple pose. Awesome. Excellent three-star Wurmple. Rubbers. Next to Heracross is the first time you've gotten it as your subject. Nice work. 2,000 for sides. Great. See, that was the, the middle of the arc. This Heracross. Took up a lot of the frame and also got the whole thing. Pavilion. This isn't going to be anything. Nah, skip it. I thought because we got the meadow in it, maybe it'd be worth something. Because you get extra points for having the meadow in your background. Cone feet. This has to be better. No. Wow. Interesting. Even though it had... I thought this one had better direction, but apparently the other one did. I'm so confused about this Pokemon. Like, I thought this is its face. I thought I finally found its face. But this had better direction somehow. Like, please explain. I have no clue. Oh, wait. wait. Did I just pick the wrong one? Was the other one... No. No, 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 no. no. I was right. Ah, uh, that was fine. That was fine. Your hard work is repelling our survey along. I better match your effort. You take photos too, Professor? Why are you having me do this then? Not that I mind. Not that I mind. But it's, uh... <laughs> You're being lazy. <laughs> I don't think there's any photos we want to save, right? Oh, I like this Grookey. I really like him with his stick. Got the bow and badoofs. There you go. We'll keep that. Anything else worth keeping? I like that. All right, that should be good. Let's see. So we, we could potentially do that one again. We definitely missed some stuff. But, like, I don't know how to do the Pidgeot thing, to be honest. That Like, I, I don't know if that's worth doing on camera, trying to grind for that. Thanks. Update from the internet. Oh, our ranking has changed. Go back to the volcano. We can do that. We can do that. If you guys ever have requests on where you'd like to go on, uh... Man, my rank is plummeting. So many people are playing this now. I started off at like 64,000 on the first day. Look where I am now. 1,044,000. Yikes. It's fine, though. It's great that there's so many Pokemon photography enthusiasts, to be honest. It's just, it's a, it's a, it's great to have the community going, and we're all liking each other's photos, except for the two of mine, which were the best photos ever taken that no one likes, apparently. But it's fine. Like I said, we'll go to the Volcano. As I was saying before, if you ever have a request in a place you'd like to see, like, you know, a place you'd like to go, just let me know, uh, and we'll go there. So Volcano it is for this one. Once we figure out how to do the Pidgeot. I was thinking this might be kind of one of the last Pokemon Snap streams we do for a little while, but we can always revisit this if like, we figure out things, how to do them. Um, I was looking soon uh, 
Christian, I'll, I'll contact you. I want to make sure that you're you're there for your heavily requested um, Pokemon, uh, not Pokemon, uh, SpongeBob, uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrate. I'm thinking about playing that next Tuesday, maybe. Um, but we'll see. That that that's that's ideally what I'd like to do. But of course, I'd like you to be there since you were the the one that requested it. So if you if you can't be there then we will do something else to tide it over. But otherwise, next Tuesday, we'll do SpongeBob Rehydrated. I'll tease that. I'll tease that. You don't have to tell me now. I'll, 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 I'll reach out closer to the date. <laughs> I'm excited. I've actually never fully played through that game. Corey beat it in its entirety. I helped him play through it. I never actually fully played it myself. Did you know? When you're behind the camera, it's easy. Yeah, you already said that before. All right. So let's see what's on Vol Voluka. So we got a lot of things that we can do here. Oh, so this is the Red Hot Energy, so we should check this out. <laughs> yes, we're also doing Stardew soon, Sarah. And that's going to be a co-op stream. That's going to be both me. This is going to be Sarah's debut on stream here uh, when we do Stardew. Uh, I know nothing about Stardew. I know nothing about Stardew Valley at all. Zero. Zilch. I know Sarah got married to someone when she played, and that's about the extent. But Sarah's gonna uh, be the Stardew expert and be over my shoulder on stream and probably just like yell at me to do things. And I'm gonna struggle and try to figure out what to do and hopefully it'll be entertaining. That's the plan. <laughs> Maybe Sarah will be nice though, we'll see. We'll see, it depends on how bad I am at the game. I'm probably gonna be terrible. I don't know. Can you be bad at Stardew? <laughs> I don't know if it's possible. <laughs> All right. Well, well, we'll see. We'll see. All right. So Rita claims she saw Slugma going up a lava fall. She's gotten... Uh, she's got to be making that up, right? So Slugma can go up a, a waterfall. Archaeops is a very cautious Pokemon, but I think it might be... It might eat a fluff fruit and feel safe and secure. So we'll try to feed the Archaeops. Are you cancer? You can be bad. Aerodactyl can't walk very well, so it won't land at all if it's feeling cautious. It probably only eats fluff fruit when it's on the ground, though. Oh, he 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 lands at the end. <laughs> Sarah's desperate to get me to play Stardew. Tyrantrum got really mad when Monferno stuck out uh, its rear at it, but I thought it was all in good fun. I'd like to get a so Monferno stuck his ass at it. The Tyrantrum and Tyrantrum through it. Tyrantrum. Talonflame looks so cool when it's attached to Fluff Fruit, but I just can't get the timing right when I try to take a photo of that exact moment. We've done that before. Talonflame photobombed us. I heard happy humming sounds around this area. What Pokemon do you think is making? All right. Let's go check out the volcano. See if we can get to research level three. Volcano is a pretty cool level if you haven't seen it. Archaeops, right in the beginning. Good luck. We got the Altarius here. Oh, Shinx! Did they do something like that? No. Ah! Town flame! So he's flying around. Let's see if I can get town flame. I hear something. Oh! Gravelers! Whoa! Rolling. Oh, 
You wanna eat the fluff fruit? Hey, I got a minute. Nice. Monferno. All right, cool. I think we're good with that. Oh, I didn't get the, uh, whatchamacallit, Talonflame. Oh, I tried. All right. That ranch room. Whoa. Several large pieces of amber are embedded in the wall. Graveler just hanging on. These Tyrantrums are sleeping. Aerodactyl. You like music? You like music, Aerodactyl? No, it does not like music. Aerodactyl does not like the music. He just ignored it. Very sad. Graveler's eating the lava. Ooh, this is it. This is the Tremender. I gotta I'll break the, the lava. Right? Not working. I thought I thought it would break. What kind of what kind of lava pit is this? It said any pressure. It just burned up the things at the source. Poor cool. Um. Jinx. Traveler in lava. I already got you. Poor Torkoal. Wow, a little ball blue. Oh, Slugma. Graveler. Typhlosion. Another one. So I think... There we go, we got him. Nice. So I think we gotta get the Graveler to, or the Aerodactyl to feel safe to land by hitting these guys with apples. And then I think they'll go away, like that's what they did last time. Or maybe not. Yeah, I hit the Typhlosion last time and then they, uh, they went away. Maybe I have to play music? Definitely got some good stuff there that we didn't have before. Like, absolutely. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thanks, Professor. Oh, we got the four-star Archaeops eating the apple. We'll take this one, I think. That's pretty good, too. Actually, I think this one will get a better score. I think we should go with this one. I like this photo better, but I think we should go with this one. 
Tari, we'll see. Probably nothing. Shinx, good. Graveler, I need a three star. That's pretty great. Yeah, I would definitely get him rolling at the end there. I know we had the issue with the whale art before, but I still think it's going to be pretty good. It's the same shot. Whoa, four star Typhlosion. Nice. If we got a better four star. I think tens are best so far. Sixteen's not bad, but tens just got the centering like down. Looks content in 11, or it was at the a different guy. This guy. Yeah, I think 10 is the best framing, too. Aerodactyl. It's the same photo, except the other one's better. We'll try this one. Oh, 11 was Graveler. Yeah, he does. He's got like a serene, you know, piece to him. Three star for Torkoal, two star for Torkoal. I think we can get a better three star. So I'm going to go two star. Although two star will be easier to get again. And I'll remember. Because I don't think we're doing this one immediately again. Two is good. Three is also good. Two's got better framing. Three's got a better pose, but I think we'll take the framing. Slugma is definitely two. Now then. Let's see what we got. Nice work. Yeah, good size and placement. That's what I was looking for with this one. Request complete. Wow, we, we're just missing a one star. Oh, look, you see, that's the one, the Talonflame photobomb that I was talking about where he got the apple. He totally like I was the Archeops was just in the picture and then he just swooped in and like right as I clicked the button. It was so fast. Uh, let's see if this is any better. Good pose. Not quite. Not quite. Nice work. Shanks. Much better. All right, not bad. We'll take it. We'll take it. Mm. Nice work. Inferno. Pretty good. Pretty good. Nice. Tyrantrum, this is going to be the same thing. Yeah. No, 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 no. Nice work. Check out Aerodactyl. Same shot. Mm, Charmander. Very good. Awesome. That was actually a really good picture. I think that we got bonus for the background there, too. Good. Slugma, this should be better. That's J. Typhlosion. This is, like, really good. Yeah, that's almost a thousand pose. Nice. 2,000 size. Whoa! Oh, that was great. And that's with no other Pokemon and no other placement. I think without other Pokemon and... Uh, I mean, no other background is what I meant instead of placement. No other Pokemon, no other background. That's the best one we've had without. Like, that's borderline perfect minus those other two scores. Apparently the pose could have been a tiny bit better and he could have been looking at us a little bit more. But that's the only like things that could have been better there for the actual way the photo was taken. Fabulous. Just great. We might have gotten a level three. Mm -hmm. Ah! Cut! 
damn it. <coughs> we gotta run through this course again, guys. I'm sorry. We're, we can't be that close. 250 points. Damn. Perseverance is a key ingredient of research. You'll have my help every step of the way. Man. All right, let's 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 have a look at like any objectives that we can get. That might lead to like, might, we might be able to see things that we haven't gotten before. Man, I wonder how to break that lava pit at the Charmander on. Maybe I actually have to hit the Charmander with the apples and they'll like run around or something. Like what's the deal? So I can get the Aerodactyl to land. A humming sound around this area. I wonder what we could do there. There's the Talonflame perched, right? Is that? Yeah, that's the Talonflame perched up there. So maybe we can get the Talonflame with the apple. This is in the first research level, the Tyrantrum does that. Archaeops is very cautious Pokemon, but I think it might eat Pluck Root, feel safe and secure. Oh good, you did eat it. Thanks for checking for me. How the two of uh, Volcarona communicate with each other? Yeah, we haven't done a second look at that one yet. Rita Clinch saw Slugma going up a lava fall. She's gotten, she's gotta make an upright. Yeah, so that one. And then the red high energy. The Illumina energy in this area is particularly strong. I suspect that even the slightest impact Oh, um, you know what? Did I throw any orbs? Because it says Illumina Energy. Maybe I gotta throw orbs? Alright, we'll give it a go. Well, I mean, I, f I feel like I want to try it before just looking it up. You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of one of the, like, the fun things about this. I'm, I'm just going to try to hit it with orbs. No, I don't think so. I mean... I'm, I'm just going to throw an Illuminia orb at it, I think. Oh, look it up and... I don't know how you would look it up in the area itself. Good luck. <laughs> look at these so shakes. Oh, that was adorable. All right, that will definitely be extra points. So we, we've already got it. Did I count? I don't think so. Talent flame. Get it. To like put it over there in the right spot. Oh, every dactyl. Man, he's oh, oh, I missed it. Oh, he went for it and I missed it. Damn. The humming is coming from, like, up here. It's like the other side over there. Alright. That talent flame was way fast. Hey. Look at him try to fly. He's not very really good at it. Hey. 
Hey, Tyrantrum. Wake up. Wake up. Alright. Let's try hitting this with a crystal ball. Maybe a little dance. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we have to get to the next research level. You know, perhaps that's what it is. Oh, let's uh let's hit this crystal bloom early. Try to get the Torkoal. Now let's get rid of these Typhlosions. Torkoal did look at it. Torkoal is like, I feel like he's like a clinically like depressed Pokemon. Just, I don't know, or at least not clinically, but like resting. He just seems in a very sad mood all the time. It's good to see him when he's happy. Run away. Hey, we did it. There's Aerodactyl. There they are, big boys. Go eat the apples. Can I get you eating the apples? You like the music? Awesome. Oops, sorry. All right, we got the Aerodactyl. That's a successful, uh, successful go around. I think we did it. I think that was good. I think we got some J's there. So now our next options are, we'll either, we can either do the level three of this, we can do the next level, the forest. Hello. Or, hello. I'd have to look, actually. That's what's coming to mind right now. Yeah, a lot of stuff, actually. So we have the better level one shanks. We have level two shanks, which we haven't had before. But I just think we could get level two shanks easily. If we... We could do the sands. I don't know if we have a new sand one though. We could get a level two sh uh, shanks if we hit it with an apple, right? This though is like a perfectly framed level one shanks. So I say we cash in on this and we'll get a level two another time. Oh, we got it. Guys, we got it. Look, look at, look at his foot. Look at his foot. It's got a little, it's got a little apple. Look at, look at his little foot. Look at his little foot over there. He's got a little apple. Oh, we got four stars. Wow, what a miracle. I did not see that happening. All right, this level two slugma is better. Take that. Aerodactyl eating his apple. I think that's the keeper, right? Undoubtedly. He's looking right at us. We'll see how that is, but it's not going to beat the other one, probably. We needed a one-star Archaeops. Is there one where he's looking at us a little more? Three looks the best. Yeah, three's got to be the best. Two or three. 
Yeah, I think three, he just takes up a little more of the, the frame. This one was five, right? Yeah. Charmander. We don't have a one Charmander. All right. We'll cash in the one. Cool. Torkoal, we only got one. This one, uh, he's centered and there's another Pokemon in there. Volcano! Did I tell you that was good? Like, damn. And with the other Pokemon bonus in there, too, it really boosted it. <laughs> That's a pretty bad four star, but we'll take it. Trying to understand what you said there, Christian. I think I'm just taking it out of context. You don't have to explain it. It's okay. Nice work. Got that. All the Slugmas look the same. Oh, I already had that. But this is way better anyway. Whoa, 929. Great stuff. Nice. Monferno. Not quite. Not quite. Mm, nice hey. You've completed Archeops page. I knew you had it in you. Mm, nice We're completing more and more guys. As the time goes on. I guess that's inevitable, but it's a good sense of accomplishment. There, there is, there is a, a fair amount of that in this game. Like a sense of accomplishment that you get from completing things. Nice. We'll take that Torkoal. And th there's fulfillment, like, and, and, and because, like, there's... Um, it's not quite tangible because it's, it's not in your... I mean, I guess it, it is. It's not physical, but it's, it's kind of tangible to see, like, the photos and see how they improve. Level three... Amazing. Your research on this course is going great. Make sure you're being thorough with other areas, too. Onto Region 6. Your research level at Volcano Reach 3. Oh. Was there anything we wanted to save there? I feel like there might have been. The Shanks, we got the best one already. This one. This one's also good, but I think this one's better. Well, we gotta save that one. Oh, the Torkoal. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, there's the, the Charmander in the in front of the Torkoal. As seen right here, because he was blocking the frame. That'll do. So we do have level three of the volcano now. But sometimes when you do like two or more, it gets a little stale of the same course, but it will be technically a different course. But it's nice to mix it up. And then you always have like a new one that you can go back to later. Otherwise it gets a little bit grindy. Do we have a new desert? Oh, I think we do have a new desert. I think desert level three is new. Was that what you guys wanted next? Hey, thank you for coming by, though, Christian. Always nice to have you. Have a good night. And, um... Hopefully next time we'll we'll have um, some uh, rehydrated underpants or uh, square pants to, uh, to enjoy. I'm excited for that one. That, uh, that, that one should be fun. I think we'll do the sands then.
that one will definitely be fun. So I think it's that and Stardew is going to be next. And then maybe we'll do... Uh... Actually, I got to think about it more. We've been, we've been floating around like Sid Meier's Pirates or something like that or a little bit. We we also, the Force Unleashed, we started that too. Uh, I, I'm tempted. I want to I wanna keep going with that because the story is, is so good in that game that it, it'd be fun just to continue that as well. So we might pick that up as well on maybe like Saturdays or something. I don't know. Stardew is more of a Saturday stream though. So may, maybe we'll, we'll hold that for Tuesdays. Okay, so we will continue with the Sands Day. Um, I think because that, that's that's level three and that's new. Whoa! He was like, he has his thing. Did you see that? He was like absorbing the sun. Yeah, it's a squirt bunny. We know that. So funny. Sun. How cool is that? Wow. Yeah, we discovered last time that this was a Flygon in here. Maybe we can get some better pictures of it. Oh, it looked like he was gonna eat the apple. And then the scorpion ate it. Ooh, fly on. Uh, I think we're gonna go this way this time because I think we can get that Heliolus running across the water Although we already have a good Heliolus photo Did we get the torture doing that with the fire? Still the cobra. That's a good photo. Oh, I really thought that, that he would make him run over the water. Oh, I missed whatever that uh, scan tag thing was. Just a little sleepy. Yeah, this guy too. Square bunny over there. Ooh, I think we can get this silicobra to jump out too. Or maybe not. Oh, I wish I could have gotten him jumping. It's time. Oh, a little back foot. Now, I want you to eat this apple. 
Not bad, not bad. Who's dead to the the, the, the lizard from before? Hello. Not bad, not bad. Heliolisk. Let's go with one of his sun forms here. The more centered, more in the shot. Let's go more centered. Acnea, let's go with this one. Flygon. Two star. We haven't had that one before. All right, we'll do that one. I mean, it's not the best, but it's a two star. Torchic. Let's get him eating the apple. Last time we had an issue where, like, we did the fire and it didn't count. All right, definitely this one. Score bunny. I don't know if we're going to beat our previous one. Is that like the hero cat? Um, I think that's it. Wow, I didn't count this as the, so the cobra. What time? I think we might uh, do maybe one more and then we'll probably call it for tonight, I'm thinking. Heliolisk. Nice Cacnea. Very good. That replaced that one. Flygon. Oh, awesome for the pose. Great. Yeah, I think we got a new level in the forest. Maybe we'll do one more there and we'll close it out like that. Yeah, we, we should be level two in the forest now, I think, actually. Awesome, that's a great Silicobra. Ooh, the other one was slightly better. We really got perfect sizing and centering on that one pavilion, uh, uh, whatever you call them, the butterflies. I don't think we're going to beat it so easily. All right, so let's return to camp and then we'll go with that last forest level and we'll call it a, uh, a day. You mind? You mind? Yeah, we still got to Maybe I'll probably like do a little grind and get the sea floor for. I'm thinking maybe we got like one more stream left of this game and I think we're pretty close to finishing it. We, we have probably like two more levels or something like that. All right, let's go with that forest. Yeah, so this is level two now. Shift tree. This. Yeah, we're gonna see a lot of new stuff. I don't know how to get the Kecleons to new, um, like to do different things other than just being invisible. Do we get a good apple one? I think so. Whoa! 
They disappeared. There was three of them. Oh, that would have been good. Whoa, it's fall. It's definitely fall here, isn't it? All right, apple. Oh, it's uh, Snivy, you superior. Something's hiding in the leaves. Whoa. It's his fall form of that guy. We saw him in the spring form and the summer form before. How are we getting there? Oh! Oh, so I had to scan. I just wasn't scanning. Very mysterious forest. Oh, he's happy. I think all those would be good. Winter form. Got a lot of like seasonal Pokemon here, it seems like. Harold says hello. Ah, uh, try to get him jumping. Hello. Oh, he's adorable, little Whismur. Crystals like that. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my god. I was lighting up the, the crystals before by the fan the trees or whatever. Like I did that last time and um I got the two star if you remember. But I, I probably missed something to be honest. It's like what is this? Is this an apple? Whoa, what's over there? Oh, it's Kekleon. Hmm. Boba. So it said the Bulbasaur like walk on water. You need the apple. Ha. <laughs> what are you doing, Boba? Affected someone over here. 
No, I don't see anything. He's a cute little Bulba. He just wants to be a buddy. He's a little buddy Bulba. Sorry. Just trying to get good pictures. <laughs> Throwing apples. All right, we'll see how we did with that. How was it? A lot of new ones, actually. I needed a one star shift for you. Okay. Grabbing it. I definitely think that the. We actually needed both. That's a really good pose. Yeah, let's go with that one, the two star. I only have one star and two star Kecleons. I think that two star is better. I don't think we have a better Kecleon to be honest. Actually, I think it's just the wrong one. Let's choose this one. Deerling, that's a new two star Deerling. On Pheasant, we need a one star on Pheasant. We'll take that. Superior, hidden behind the grass. Okay. Oh, we can only turn in one. How? What a shame. All right. Well, we'll we'll do this one. Ah, look at Bulba. We need a one star, actually. So I think we'll do. Oh, what do you think, Sarah? What do you think? One or two? Or anyone in chat? Two. I agree. Only because you said it. Because otherwise, I would have been there all day. Uh, let's see. We need a two star. That only counted as one. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, we're going to go with that one, aren't we? Oh, look at him. Six. Low tad. I can't do it well. I think this one. I'll have to redo that one with the getting better stuff with the leaves. There's probably different Pokemon that come out of the leaves, maybe even more than like on Pheasant. Or hopefully there's other Pokemon besides on Pheasant that comes out of the leaves. And I'll do scans on the leaves and make them, you know, come out like that. Alright, let's see. That's good. For Shift Tree. Nice little one star. Nice work. Only a little bit better for Trevenant, huh? What do you know? Check me on. Nice work. Deerling, that's a new shot. So even if it's not the best, it'll still be something good. Nice work. So we got the fall version at least. We'll we'll have to get one star of each Deerling like version. You know what I mean? So we get all four seasons. Superior. That was a good unpleasant one star, by the way. Not bad. I mean, for what it is. Nice work. Thaw is buck. Winter version. His antlers, it's cool how they grow like leaves, you know. With the different seasons. Nice work. Good Boba. He's a little Boba. It's a good song. It's a very good song. That's a beautiful whisper shot. That was 4,600 in case you didn't see. That's a that's a J. That's a W. Or a J. They're pretty synonymous uh, in this chat. Good little low tad. We got a lot of new stuff there. I think that should be like 20,000, right? More. Whoa, we only need 12,000 to get to level 3. We make a few more discoveries, we may reach some new frontiers. I think if I do that again with the leaves, we'll definitely get it. But, maybe we'll do that next time. I think we'll call it there for tonight, guys. You can get better photos if you snap them, and the Pokemon is looking your way. Come on. So excited. 
This is another little quest. I was thinking, uh, I was taking photos of Torkoal when it suddenly stood up on its hind legs. I was so surprised I forgot to get a picture. Oh, we'll have to uh, check that out too. A lot of stuff we got to figure out. Oh, be nice to Phil. I mean, I know he's not the best, but we got we got to be nice to him. You know what I mean? But I think that's going to about do it tonight, guys. I think we're going to hit it otherwise. Um, thank you so much for coming out. It's been an honor to take more pictures of Pokemon. We'll be back next week. Um, next Tuesday, we'll be back with SpongeBob. Uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom. Rehydrated. That'll be a lot of fun. Heavily requested a game. Uh, so we'll catch you next time with that. Thanks sir, so much for coming out, guys. Peace. Thanks for hanging. Oh, I forgot what the thing is. <laughs> Here it is. All right. Peace, guys. Thank you.